What, uh, now, did you know right away, like, so with the four ounce gloves? Yeah. Was that, uh, how did that affect you in training? I mean, I'm not saying you, I don't care if you want to give things away or whatever, but. No, no, good. Like, I'll straight up, I'll open about it. So I, I've maybe trained in four ounce gloves for, I think, a total of seven weeks. So ironically, I actually had bought some, like, those seven ounce sparring gloves. Mm -hmm. Um, and I bought them because of, yeah, the most recent like Muay Thai World Cup and Road to One. And I just noticed that like a lot of promotions are trying to switch Muay Thai to four ounce gloves because I get right. it. It's more exciting, right? It's cool. Right. Being proactive um, instead of reactive. A hundred percent. I was like, yo, let's try it out. Let's see how it is. So I bought some. I got a couple of my training partners to buy some and we were just, you know, using them sparring. Hmm. Um, like maybe a couple times, you know, sure. so I had barely touched them. And then as soon as I got this this uh contract i was like okay so i started training you know pads i was basically exclusively training with them uh, i box also at marshall's boxing and i was wearing them to hit pads like while well as boxing how's it feel though so, um it's different i like so yeah for anybody that's never worn them and switching over from like 16 ounce or 10 ounce you know boxing gloves mm -hmm. the immediate thing is you feel less protected on your hands like, like you're yeah. just like oh like my thumbs are sticking out my fingers are sticking out so if i go to paw and someone punches me right in the finger you think about like a basketball in the finger it's like how about somebody punching you full force in the finger right um so there's a little bit of apprehension there but that did go away really quickly because the biggest thing that i realized is all you need to learn when you're fighting is learning how to close and open your hands while you're fighting rather than always having them closed and that's right. it so it's yeah. like close to fight open to defend like that was pretty much it and that took like maybe 10 days and then i was and then i was never worried like you know hmm. nice. so, and then the only other fear was like fingers in the eyes For which sure. definitely happened our first sparring session i can't remember if it was like jerry or kobe one of my training partners went to punch me and like oh it was derek sorry it was derek always derek, derek put his finger and it went like right into the bridge of my nose i lucked out it didn't hit my eye it like went right in the bridge Ooh. of my nose and like scratched the bridge of my nose i was like okay i gotta be careful of that wow okay so, so yeah did you do you find it changes your defense like yes hugely yeah. hmm. um a like you're more it's the word you're you're more focused on the hands because you're like yo these are gonna move faster they can hit easier because there's smaller holes right um and the other side is hooks feel weird obviously because you've got knuckles exposed right and i definitely smashed these knuckles on like bear skull during my fight <laughs> okay yeah not on my own like it was me hitting him but right, yeah right. you can't defend like this yourself because same thing you'll knuckle your Watch own forehead your... Right. yeah i definitely did that a couple times training mm. um but yeah, there's there's a lot more focus on it, and you'd think that it's easier to hit people because they're smaller and stuff. But because of the danger, it's like yeah, the focus is higher too. So then you're not hitting guys as much. Sure, that's true. That's yeah. True. Do, do you find that uh, mobility has to be more of your arsenal defensively? Um. Yeah. Like I mean, for myself, it already is. Very true. So yeah. So I didn't notice a big change there. But yeah, you did. You like you can't stand a bang, right? sure like i don't i don't feel like yeah i don't feel like dutch style kickboxing is is a good <laughs> idea with four ounce gloves on unless you're for sure know that you're going to be the harder hitter yeah yeah and it's not yeah. going to take too many fights until you're going to be able to hide your own easter eggs oh yeah 100 percent. yeah yeah no kidding how about uh how about offensively i mean not again not to give anything away but yeah did you notice there was some things like Shit, this is going pretty good. Like, you know, this this works well. Oh, stuff that I liked. Yeah. Um. Yeah, your hands move way faster. Like that is is pretty cool, and it's a weird adjustment. Like for me as a kicker, the thing that was actually messing me up was um, punching too fast, and then my kicks like not following in rhythm because you're kicking the same speed. Oh, okay. And, I see. Yeah, I especially you. sparring because sparring, it's like now your hands are so light, but you still have shin guards on. And I wear two pairs of shin guards on my left leg when I spar, just, Monster. you know, for everyone else. <laughs> Being There's a nice video guy. evidence. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so syncing that up was uh, was a little difficult. But now, yeah, it's super fun once you get it down. So, nice. And I did like, you can grab people's wrists, which right. is, yeah, Superlek taught me that. I think Superlek taught us all that. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, 
what's your overall thoughts on like uh the four ounce glove game that's kind of coming up as opposed to traditional muay thai you being you know kind of starting out a, like you said maybe transition over that yourself yeah um i don't mind it either way it's just a different game for sure um obviously at my weight class it's like you already have to respect people's hands and their strikes to begin with you know sure so but you um do you, do you like so there was no i'm always kind of curious of this not just you yeah. but everybody like, yeah like hey man i didn't sign up for this you know what i mean like i thought we were going to be in boxing gloves and shit like, yeah that, that's what i knew was going to happen i didn't really sign up for this like right is, is there any of that I, kind of feeling i personally didn't have that feeling because i think probably because i was already kind of prepared for it like you know right. like i said right. like thinking about it yep um and yeah i don't know for me it's like like cool more danger like cool sure. like you know sure, sure. Uh, aside like my only worry like ever with the four ounce gloves was hurting my own hands so yeah that's it and that was a that well and that was another question i had so are you having to put more maintenance into your hands and care of your hands you know while training sparring with these gloves the seven ounce sparring ones i found were okay like it feels almost the same because there's still like a big thick pad on your knuckles okay um watching like for the rest of your fingers though and your thumbs like th again throwing hooks is a little weirder especially because in muay thai we throw long hooks right and, sh and like in a glove you're hitting with like this part yes yeah. so uh yeah that was a little you had to be careful with it but other than that it wasn't too bad the four ounce gloves though like when i was actually in there my hands definitely hurt after the fight yeah I bet, eh? and i was talking to like derek and ryan about it because i was like yo like how are how are these guys in one championship doing this and not destroying their hands and they're like right. oh well, those guys are way smaller and i was like that's true but how about ufc like middleweight and up is my true. weight class so true yeah so we haven't figured that out yet but i also true. only had a three-week fight camp with those that's gloves true. so i mean like whatever 